Converting between mixed and improper fractions is an extremely important part of level two maths functional skills. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what mixed and improper fractions actually are, and also how you can convert them. So what are mixed and improper fractions? Simply put, these are two ways of showing that you've got more than a whole thing. So here we can clearly see we've got one and a half pizzas. So as a mixed fraction, we just write that as one and a half. So the reason why it's called a mixed fraction it's a mixture of whole numbers and fractions. Now, as an improper fraction, you may know these as top heavy fractions. They just focus on how many slices there are. So it's still kept in a fractional form, but your top number, which is how many parts of a fraction we're talking about. Here, we're looking at three out of two. So three halves. And we can see that here we've got obviously the one half, two halves, three halves. Now, we're going to look at another example on the next slide and we're going to see how we can convert one to the other. So for example, we can see here clearly uh, we've got three uh, and a half pizzas. As a top heavy fraction or improper fraction, we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven halves of pizza. Now we're not likely to call it seven halves of pizza. We'll always generally just say we've got three and a half pizzas left, uh, but it's quite important to know how we can convert one to the other here. So uh, the way we would do this is sort of recognizing what each of these four pizzas represents. So essentially in fractional form, a whole thing is where your top number matches your bottom number. So we've got two out of two parts. So each of these is worth two out of two. And then we've got a one out of two. Essentially, all you need to do to turn those into the improper fraction is just add all those top numbers together. So how many halves have we got? And that's essentially all we need to do to convert a mixed fraction into an improper fraction. So it's just recognizing that your whole numbers are three lots of that bottom number of the fraction. So to work that out, you could, you could just do three times two equals six. So you've got six halves there, plus your one half equals seven halves. So you can look at it that way. Now, likewise, if we're doing it the other way around, let's say we've got the uh, seven halves, if we wanna turn that into the mixed number, basically saying how many twos have we got in this seven? So you could do seven divided by two, that'll give you three and a half. 3.5 as a decimal. If you think of the three part is the whole number, so you've got three whole numbers, then whatever's left is your fraction for that. So, but yeah, it's just basically how many twos are there in seven? Two, four, six, so we've got three. What's left over, if we took the, took the six off of the seven, you've still got a half left over. And that's essentially all it takes to convert between mixed fractions and improper fractions. Okay, so we've got some practice questions. What I want you to do is have a go at these questions and then in the comments, I want you to uh, let me know if you've got all of these correct. And if you've not, and you've got some questions, then do ask them in the comments and I'll answer them. So pause the video in a minute and then I'll go over the working out. Okay, so hopefully you found all those to be okay to do uh, but let's have a look at the first question so question one we're looking at converting seven and four fifths into an improper fraction so we know that a whole thing is in five parts so we've got seven lots of five there so seven times five is 35 so we've got 35 fifths there we're going to add on the four fifths and that will give us 39 fifths as our answer to that question. So well done if you got that one right. Um, next one, we've got to convert 26 out of 12 into a mixed fraction. So uh, what we're looking at is how many 12s are there in 26. So 12, 24. So we've got two 12s in 26. What have we got left if we take 24 off of 26? We've got two. So we've still got two twelfths remaining. Now that fraction, we can uh, simplify that fraction. So 
if we uh, halve that fraction to one sixth, we've got two and one sixth as an answer. So you'll always want to simplify any fraction, even if it's part of a mixed fraction, get it down into its most basic form. Um, if we want to look at the next question, then we've got 22 eighths. We want to express that as a mixed fraction. So how many eighths are in 22? So eight, 16, 24. So uh, eight, 16. So we've got two. So there's not quite enough for 24 uh, for that third one. So we've got two. So if we take 16 off of 22, what do we have left? We've got six. So six eighths. Now we can simplify that fraction. So if we divide that by two, that'll turn it into three quarters. So we've simplified the fractional bit. So the answer to that question is two and three quarters. So we've got the final one. What is nine and six tenths as an improper fraction? So again, uh, we can look at how many tens are there in, uh, in that nine whole uh, thing there. So nine times 10 equals 90. So we've got 90 tenths and we've got another six. So 90 plus six tenths equals 96 tenths. And that's it. So hopefully you found this session useful. If you have, do give the video a like and consider subscribing uh, so that you can see more uh, lessons for your maths functional skills. And on the screen now we do have a video which is the next topic for fractions. Cheers, I'll see you over on that video.